Hello and welcome to the Lion's Den. As always, I am your host Matt and it's cold. <laughs> it is very cold. Currently it's between about minus five to zero each day, depending on how the weather feels. Um, and that does mean that we've been having some snow, which is always very pretty. And this year, I suppose I've lived with it okay, because I haven't had to go out into the world. Normally when it snows and I have to like go out places, it's not fun because it just turns to ice and sludge and you know, that's just not ideal. But this year actually I decided to go and build a snowman for the first time in a very long time. Uh, I've never built a snowman probably before, but I pulled it off quite well. I had a lovely three tiered snowman and I did some sculpting which was fun. So I suppose there are some benefits to a awful weather but hey ho right let's slide on into today's first topic which is daunting for anybody of my age well, i suppose anybody that's in this sort of particular area really is called job hunting <laughs> so help essentially because i am a student at university i'm now in my final year so i eventually have to go out into the world of work and do my part for society so that's going to be interesting. Currently, I have absolutely no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do. Which is really not helpful because everyone just says, Oh, you find the you find the job that you were meant to do for life and that's great. So the biggest thing I've been doing is a lot of these online quizzes where they you, you fill out a bunch of questions. You say, oh, I'm, I'm a great leader or I really like writing or I'm good with maths and things like that. And then it says, oh, here's a bunch of jobs you can do. So I told it that... You know, I do physics, and I like working with people sometimes, but I also like doing my own work. I like exploring stuff and figuring things out, solving problems. So the first thing it told me is I should be a librarian. Nice. <laughs> Nothing against librarians. Um, it's just not the area I was kind of hoping to go into. But there you go. I've also been talking to some other friends who are trying to apply for jobs. I have one friend who's literally just applying to every job possible, and not having very good fun time with it. A lot of the uh, forms are quite long-winded, so they take a while to fill out, and then ultimately if you end up getting rejected, it's just not fun, which I assume there's probably a lot of rejection going around, especially in today's job market. That is the other thing, is the job market is just constantly changing, so the, the biggest problem I might be finding is that the job I actually want to do for the rest of my life might not actually exist so i kind of have to wait for that which isn't ideal when you're panicking about what the heck you're gonna do in september when you've graduated but on a slightly more cheerful note i've decided i want to build a pc so i had built pcs you know proper desktops when i was a lot younger that were kind of just cobbled together from parts that my dad got from work Eventually, when I needed proper full-on machines to do serious schoolwork and university work, I switched to laptops, which are very convenient for the type of work that I end up doing. It's useful that it's portable and I can take it where I need to go. But obviously, there are big limitations in terms of power. Uh, mainly as well because the budget that I had for laptops has never really been that high. But now that I'm kind of... I have my own money from little side jobs I've done here and there, I can kind of build something a little bit better. I'm also semi-fascinated by it because it's just really interesting to figure out what's the best sort of combination of parts to build a system that's a good bang for the buck, I suppose. I suppose, yeah, it's, it's also that I want something more powerful as well. Um, sliding into that wonderful world called PC gaming, you find that a laptop with integrated graphics can't really do much. <laughs> Although, to be fair, laptops these days can run a lot of games surprisingly well, uh, considering. But I'm also a total noob with it. I don't remember the last time I actually put a computer together, so that'll be interesting. It looks fairly simple, to be honest. It's quite obvious that you're just going to drop this here, you click this thing there, you plug X, Y, Z in, and off you go. Have fun. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll see as well what the kind of market is probably around summer that's when i'm looking to maybe build and hopefully by then things will kind of calm down and prices will be not egregious so we'll see another thing that i'm sure many of you are struggling with these days is the idea that you need a haircut i badly need a haircut myself my hair is just 
Oh, it's a nightmare. My hair is very thick, which makes it difficult to manage. And the minute that it starts to get longer than a couple inches, it just becomes this wild, poofy mess. I prefer my hair to be short, personally. I think it looks better, and it's a lot more practical, especially because I wear glasses. And if you have really thick side buttons, then it pushes the arms of your glasses out, and then they just fall down your nose all day long, which is really not fun. Which also then led me to the biggest mistake of my lockdown life, which is I tried to trim around my ears. I thought, oh, I have a beard trimmer with the, the those gauges on that control how much it cuts. And I thought if I go really slowly and kind of tease my hair to try and trim just a little bit of it, I can knock back my hair. And I went a bit too short on one side near my sideburns. And it now is quite obvious that I screwed that up. But I'm very fortunate because I wear glasses and it kind of covers up the mistake. And nobody has pointed it out to me yet. So I'm just going to pretend like nothing has happened and that's not an issue at all. But yeah, moral of the story, don't try and cut your own hair in lockdown. Unless you have a friend who is a known hairdresser and can actually do it properly. <laughs> so... Right, um, something gaming. Ooh, interesting development today. I was following the stock market in Animal Crossing again, because I wanted to make up for the fact that I had some really bad luck with the weeks. And I did it, ladies and gentlemen. I went hard. I went hard or go home, whatever the phrase is. So, on Sunday, I put in about 400,000 bells worth into turnips. In the hopes that this week I would have a large spike. And oh boy did I have a large spike. I bought turnips for 93 bells a pop. And they went selling for 440. Which is approximately 4.7 times what I paid for them. So I made 1.3 million bells. Oh it was glorious. I was so happy when that happened. Because I was so worried that I was going to get two decreasing patterns in a row. And that would just have sucked so much. But... I managed to pull it off, so I'm a happy chappy. The other thing is, I've been semi-debating about buying Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, I played Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, and I've done everything that there is really to do with it. But I, I guess I just really miss it, because it's a fun game. It's really pretty, the music is amazing. The tracks are some of the best, I think, personally. It's just, it kind of sucks that I'd have to pay again for a game that I've already played... To maybe not get that much out of it, but I don't know, we'll see. It's coming down in price, so maybe if it becomes under 30 quid, that would be a steal, I think, for that kind of a game. And the other thing is, I've also been debating this uh, whole 3D Mario All-Stars, because that will stop being sold, uh, I think, at the end of March. So you have to buy it now, otherwise you'll never get a chance to buy it again outside of third parties, and they'll probably jack up the price, because it's of course. I think my only problem with the 3D All-Stars is there's three games on it. There's Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy, and Super Mario Sunshine, of which I've played two of them. The one I haven't played, Super Mario Sunshine, I think looks fantastic. It's the one game I've really wanted to play, and this would be a great way to do it. But I just, it feels like a lot of money to pay for one game, and it's a remake, it's not even a remaster, no, it's, I'm sorry, not a remake, or remaster, it's just a port, it's not a remake or anything, they haven't changed anything with the game, so it's kind of like, it's a lot of money to pay for just a port of a game, but we'll see, I've got a little bit of time, I've got a month or so, I think, unless it's the beginning of March, and then, uh, that'll be, <laughs> then I haven't got as much time as I thought. Uh, wow. Right. Sorry this one's a bit late. I completely forgot to plan and record an episode, but here we are, doing it right now. So, hopefully you've all enjoyed listening to my rambling. If you are still listening to my rambling, I thank you. Also, if you are considering listening to this on a regular basis, please do subscribe and ring that bell, all that dingling stuff, you know, so that you get notified when I actually do end up posting these episodes. So I will see you all next week. Bye!